like fresh and organic are pretty popular these days as people become more aware of local food sources. That's right. Now, although farmers have been raising hens for years, now there's an opportunity and a new way for people in the suburbs to raise eggs and hens as well, uh, but it's more like renting trees, right? That's true. So if this is something you might uh, be interested in doing. Maybe you were afraid of the commitment of having your own hens <laughs> and chickens. CT Rent-A-Hen might be for you. Joining me now is John Ferrugia and uh, Marisa Fabrizzi, the co-owners. Uh, you have brought some hens with you today. Yes, we did. Where did this idea come from? It's so unique. Well, we actually noticed some folks in other states doing this, mm -hmm. and we've had hens for several years, and we've really enjoyed having these animals, and they, they render a great egg and food source. So we thought that we could um, provide this uh, source for people to rent a hen mm -hmm. um, and get into this without the full commitment of buying the hen and the coop. Uh, so, so what's the price differential? Say you were to buy a hen versus renting a hen through you guys. Well, the hens that we have here are less than a year old, but there's been a lot of investment into their well-being mm -hmm. and feeding them and raising them. So we save the renter from going through that entire process. Mm -hmm before they start laying eggs. So actually, uh, to buy a, a new hen or a, a egg laying hen, it would be about $25, maybe 30 in some places. Mm -hmm. um, so our rental is for $45 a month with three hens, and basically you'll get about six dozen eggs in one month. And at $4 a dozen, Sure. That cost sort of offsets the rental, so it's very inexpensive for folks to get into this. Can you taste the difference between a fresh egg and one you buy in the grocery store? <laughs> we say yes. yes. You certainly yeah, can, most right? Definitely. Can, yes. Yeah. Wow. They look different. Uh -huh. They're uh, they're healthier, just, probably, right? Yeah, right. we well, well, think so. What are some of the benefits to, to having hens? Obviously, if you have kids at home, are are these kid friendly hens? Most definitely. We like I said, we've raised these hens from two days old. So they're very people friendly. They're not very stressed at all, as you can see by our friend right here. <laughs> She's pretty calm. She's pretty chill. So there. calm. She's just been hanging out there with yeah. you. Yes. Yeah. Can can we hold her? Can, sure. Can we try at least yeah. without yeah. getting uh? Certainly. Just hold the, the wings down. <laughs> okay. I'm let you handle that, right? So just so feet. So you guys like get yeah. as long as you, you build the chicken coop as well. Going. Yes. Okay. This is the coop that we would provide uh, folks who rent, and this coop accommodates. Three to six hens. No. There you go. Yep. Tuck her in. Right. Hold on. There you go. One second. There there got two. Her. <laughs> Seems like he's wrangled her in though, right? <laughs> I got her. There you go. <laughs> She's secure. What's what's your name there, little Henny? Henny Penny. You both look petrified. Henny Penny. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who's more scared now. Okay, do All not right, Let's go back and talk about the coop here. Uh, you were designing and it's kind of a unique design with the angle here. It is. Actually, uh, Teresa, this design is very popular in the UK. Um, and we thought that this would go well with our business, and I could show you why. Um, first of all, it's very secure from predators. Okay, all uh, right. Oh, boy. All right. Do you, would you like Marissa to take that yeah. back? Here you go, Marissa. <laughs> okay, and, and then it, it also opens, Teresa, right? The, the, the coop itself? Of course it does. It yeah. does. So we would just, I just want to show the viewers the in, interior. <laughs> oh, wow. <clears throat> take that out. So basically, um, this is a self-contained coop. So the renter does not have to build any structure on their property. The hens could live entirely in this coop 24-7. Uh, um, hens are very uh, set on the rhythm of the sun. So in the evening, they, when the sun sets, they will walk up this ramp. And if I could just scoot over here. And we would just pull this string. Oh. oh, check that out. When the hens are safely in the upper part of the coop, we would just tie this off. And that kind of keeps them upstairs there. Yep. They would just roost on this bar. They lay their eggs on either end. These are the egg compartments. And they're totally safe from a predator. So even if a predator were to come in through the bottom, which is very unlikely, mm -hmm. like the they would definitely not get right. into the top. Um, there you, go. Cool. you can roll this coop around your yard. There's wheels on one end. And if you do have a uh, condition on your property where you feel safe enough letting the hens free range, you can simply open this door. Oh, and they could walk right out, and huh? And they'll come right out 
Yeah, They'll buddy. come right out in the yard. Yeah. Brian, I don't no, think they like you. No, okay. How, how about roosters? Do you need a rooster to make this whole process? You, uh... you do not need a rooster, and we don't rent roosters. Um, the rooster will fertilize eggs, but hens produce an, approximately an egg a day, about 0 0.8, yeah, 0 0.8 eggs a day, mm -hmm. um, but they don't need to be fertilized. So you don't need a rooster. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's easy do you need any sort of permit to have this in your yard? Well, that would depend on the local ordinance. Okay. Uh, the local um, uh, jurisdiction renters should check with their town. Um, sometimes there's distance, uh, a distance uh, requirement, keeping the coop so many feet from your neighbor's property, things like that. Um, there's sometimes limits on, on having a rooster, but I, as I said, there's no rooster involved here. So mm -hmm. check with your local uh, authorities on the, and, the regulations. And the hens are very friendly. Again, it is uh, rentahenct.com. Yes. Is that the correct website? Connecticut Rent a Hen. There it is. Yes. Boom. And you'll deliver? You'll drop all this off? Yes. It's $99 deposit, which ensures delivery, uh, a 50 pound bag of feed, which lasts six weeks, the uh, water and food container. <laughs> the coop uh, for $45 a month. So What a great idea. Yeah, for seven months, it's a little bit under $400. Very good, very unique business. Make sure you guys check it out again. It is rentahenct.com. Uh, we're gonna be practicing our, our, our hen holding skills on the break, but coming up <laughs>